How's it going, booze? Today, we're back with another angle guide, one of your absolute favorites to watch. We're covering the new map of this. There's so many new angles, so many new changes, completely different concept from map. Absolutely loving it. We're gonna run through all the uh, nifty little off angles, underrated spots, uh, really important things to be careful of, everything you need to play this map. We're gonna start off on a site attacking, and we're just gonna go clockwise around the entire map, covering everything. This is a must watch for anyone who wants to understand this map and quickly adapt before things come out. Let me highlight a few key elements. One of these death drops is what they call them, um, where there's this rope, you try to jump over. There's a few spots on the map like this where you have to make a jump that's very, very risky. Very scary. There's also these connector doors that lead from mid to A. And there's also some nifty little spots where you can actually jump outside the map and then land on the other. A lot of just like a lot of weird pathing spots that you wouldn't really expect. So let's heck and cover it guys. But let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing you want to know about A is that these defenders can always beat you to A main. So if you peek it here, you want to check this angle, but always, always check these off angles. Um, always, always. You can choose two paths, one's the lower, one's the high. It's up to you. They're both pretty much, much the same. I'd be down for this one though. This one provides you a little bit of cover. There's a new introduction here, and that's all of these are spammable. Anytime you see these little blue hexagons on these boxes, these are all spammable. But once you clear these two close areas, next you're gonna check this. This right side still cannot be covered, but you wanna start looking towards back site. And then there's all this weird space here. You can put your cross up here and check this and you drop it down and you continue to check it. You can also spam this. Remember this is spammable. This is the one spot players can play and that's what's actually really annoying to deal with by the way. Um, and then you wanna come out sight. You can actually kind of hug this right left side and clear right side pretty efficiently. And then you can start the path that it's here and clear this. And then you're mainly worried about like back sight now backsite and then like the tower drop the tower drop is really common so you can use something for backsite if something's not already used or you can path through it here as long as ct smoked you're fine to do this backsite here is pretty easy it's just one solid spot um, if you're out under tower you might have a better chance against them when they drop out tower potentially you could also just do this where you jump on top of here you can do a silent jump up here and then clear backsite from that way a few different paths here they're all pretty cool um, I think left side or on top of these boxes is probably the best. I don't see enough people using these boxes right now. But once you clear site, um, I wanted to talk about post plant. This is something we haven't really done a lot for these angle guides. But there's a lot of pretty decent post plant positions. Under tower is definitely one of them. Just playing here, it's a very hard spot to clear from up here. You basically have to clear it like this, which exposes you to literally everything. Um, or you drop down like this, which again, not, not very fortunate for you. Um, there's no real good spots to play over here where you see often is the bomb planted here because one, you can like breach ult them off and that's really funny. Uh, but two, this is just a very open spot to a lot of angles, even CT. Uh, so this is, the, this is the nasty plant spot. If you have site control, always plant it here. Uh, just be careful not to fall. Um, besides that, you can play like up here. You can play towards tower here and then have like a jump, jump up for CT. This can see CT from here. This is a nice little off angle for CT. All this can just be to hold tower from a weird spot. Um, that's pretty much that. I wouldn't really recommend pushing into tower. You could maybe push into CT, but because of their two lanes here, it's not really that great. So usually on site's your best option. And also like back game in because of this post plant, it's a pretty good option as well. So these are some really nice post spots here, here, or under here. Those are my three spots for you. All right, let's go ahead and try mid. Now the important thing to know about mid is mid heckin sucks, but you need to go here every once in a while. This space is super open and awkward to contest. Um, there's two lanes, there's the stairs, and then there's this left side pathing. You could also opt for, and I'll just cover it now because it leads to the same spot. You can go here at the start of the round and then path up here and then basically end up in the same spot. Um, but let's start with stairs. You go upstairs, there's basically two spots you want to be careful of, and that's right here, this first angle. Um, don't really have to check this one, but more, mostly these two. This next section is really important. These three spots are what you're really looking out for. It's really good to throw like a smoke or something, because then you can pressure the door. Then you can break the door and threaten like an A split, um, make them scared. And we'll cover it, cover something really cool I found for defense you can do to counter that. This video is sponsored by you, baby. You've probably already heard about the Ko-Fi, Slayer Keys Guide to Immortal, 
and tutorials where I cover every agent so you can be the best one trick out there. But have you heard about my favorite perk? Sub Wars, the newest edition where you can play against others in games coached by me. That's right, Coach Key. Hello, 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 hello. I'm medium, I'm medium. I'm also medium. Wait wait wait. <laughs> wait, 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 no, wait, 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 Come and join in on the fun, plus subscribe right now and you'll get access to my only subs. Ooh, I wonder what's in there. Thanks to you for making this content possible and enjoy. But that's that, you clear that spot and then the next spot you wanna be careful of is this close angle here. Defenders can actually get here early round, so you wanna be really careful. Well, if you can throw their cage deeper, you can do something even cheek here. Um, but you never really like path through mid here, it's very rare. Uh, you sometimes would go through here and path towards um, B, but mainly your purpose of mid is just to create pressure and try to get alert going and like catch the rotates because cutting them off from mid is really nice because one, you get this late wrap through here and two, they're forced to like rotate through spawn here. So this is really good. You see Cyphers throw this camera a lot, which literally talks about or shows all those spots we just talked about. Um, if you're going from this left side, it's pretty much the same thing, same spots, except now you have this angle that opens up. You want to be more careful of that. Um, and that's basically that. I can show what it looks like if you path through here, but it's basically be careful of this side. And then this is always like really hard to clear this little section here because the defenders can just peek from both sides. Um, and that goes whether you're pathing that side or this side. Let's go ahead and cover B. B is a pretty cool one. Um, you can choose two paths. One's up these stairs here and one's down to the left. Um, this one's really nice because you can kind of hold this close angle but also gives you some nice spots. I'll always suggest jump peeking this first, to be honest, because there's so many angles. And doing this, you kind of eliminate an also spot uh, where a lot of potential players could be holding from. And this will make clearing this a bit easier for you. Um, but this is basically all you do. You check, uh, you check to see if someone's playing on top of the rafters there, and then this box down here, and then these two angles. I mean, this is a very big spot where two people can peek, so we're gonna break it down a little. Um, and this also holds the top of the box here, which is very sketchy. You want to be careful of that. Um, besides that, you can't really get timing here. Someone takes this path, but if you don't have someone go this path, someone can just walk up here. Um, so if you're going this this close side, I'd definitely be careful of this. There's a new angle here that you want to be careful of. Um, on top of box is also really scary. There's a little corner they can hide on there. Um, so that's never fully clear. This site's really awkward and it's really hard to actually clear. You basically would path like this and then like check your left side real quick and then you can choose to take this absolutely terrifying pathway here to jump up. Um, this is a really good map to learn on a silent jump, by the way. So to do this, you just run a little without pressing shift, and then you press shift and jump. And as long as you do this correctly, quick run, and then a shift jump, uh, you won't make any noise. It's really nice to know for these like ramp surfaces because you can get up more quickly without making noise. But when you actually scale up site here, you just want to check that box we talked about earlier and then you want to start to wrap this way um, this is the really scary spot where a lot of players play it is more of this right side i was just kind of clearing it like this i would always suggest taking this path here because it's very hard to hold from like this player a lot of people are playing this box right now uh, we'll get that go, go over that more in defense it's really hard for them to, like to hold because you would have to check like this and that's just exposing them to way too many angles and the only other spot you have to worry about is like back here. I'm gonna assume smokes are down. So we basically like path back here, check this, and then we wrap back here and check this. And that's basically that. The pathing's a little scary. You could take left side here and instead of wrap this way. And what this would allow you to do is clear this, and then you can break this down a little. Remember this, this is the angle everyone plays. You always wanna be very careful. This little section here is very scary, but that's it. Um, once you get sight, there's a few good spots to play. There's like the close angle here. I would suggest more this one um, because you can kind of tuck behind cover here. But you could also have like a teammate playing with you here. Um, you can also have someone up here playing this spot with you, which is very nasty. This is like an, a new up down. Uh, just be very careful. Having, this is definitely a spot where I feel like people don't know how to play post plane on yet because there's so many good angles um, that teammates can play off of, especially if smokes are down. Um, if they play these. You can see here's a good spot. Um, so my main suggestion is this spot, this spot, and this spot, this spot. Anything else might be a bit too passive because you can't really help your players over here. Um, but honestly, it's a pretty good like far back post plant spot too. Like if you plant, um, if you plant in the open there, 
you can easily just play from tower here or play from under. You can even like play from here. Um, even if you like play from here, you can also just like camp here a little and then do like a late wrap. Uh, so it's a really good map to like be patient on and it allows for a lot of different play styles. And it's really just up to the player. It's really just up to the player. Uh, but those are, my, those are my big suggestions here. For B, let's go ahead and talk about defense on B. Uh, defending B, you already got my idea here. This spot is really heckin' good. Definitely play from this spot. This spot's good for like a late angle. So you can hide here. Sometimes people try to grab the orb and you can spam them. That's a really nice one. Or you can do the same thing from underneath too. Honestly, underneath is probably smarter because you won't get stuck there as much. You always have to be careful of this fallback though. One thing you could do early round is jump down here and try to create a play with a teammate. Um, this this might be a nasty off angle right here that no one really expects and then you just leave after or you can just walk down B here and go for this aggression or even just like hold window from here if you don't hear anyone. There's a lot of times where I've just like literally ran down B like double satchel down B and haven't seen anyone and then just had a really early flank through mid and got like an insta kill. So this is a really nice lane to open up. Okay so the power spots here are really like back sight here. And then this spot, this spot has a nasty KD ratio. This this spot actually cooks so hard because you can play here and catch someone jumping up or you can play on top of the boxes and get a, get an off angle and players coming up here. Um, it's really, really nasty. This is a map that rewards patient play a lot. You just live and play your life and not take super risky, stupid fights and the, they will just hand you kills. But that's B. There's, there's really no other better spots. You can play from like top or after. This is a little bit too obvious. Oh. There's like one other good spot you can play. That's like the top rafter spot where you can kind of do a similar thing from this, um, but then you have a different off angle that you could have for, for heaven here. That might be good. And that's that's literally it. Um, if you're holding mid, this is a decent spot. I would really suggest like jiggling these spots or jumping in these spots more. Um, we talked about early round, you can just walk up here and then you can play this spot. This is a really nasty spot. You can catch lurks here a lot and you can catch them when they try to go for door plays a lot. The only thing to keep in mind is it's like a very stuck spot you can't really get out of here so it's good to be agent that has something that at least allows you some decent cover to get away from that situation um, but if you don't hear anything it also allows you to kind of sneak up a little and then you can open up mid and now you have a flank going um, so that's really how you want to play that a little bit more patiently just really keep in mind this lurker i got another good spot just to throw like a cypher camera um, just to have intel i think like constant intel like that's really important for this map and the next spot's just this where you can basically just like hold both sides this is this is pretty good for my duelist mains who just want to have like they have like their flash they can use here or they have something to get them out of jail um, basically just like checking both these spots there's no like super weird angles you can do here but you basically never push mid here it's basically just like try to contain it and hold it you could do like um one thing i, I do see if you want to go like aggro here is you do like a smoke here and that allows this person to scale up or you do like a smoke here and you can fight from mid this way. So this is what this would look like with what we talked about before. And then this way you can actually just like straight up walk up here and you guys could like actually aggro mid and have like a fast flank going, um, which can be really good. Again, like all these places are very interesting because they allow passive, but also very aggressive play styles. It's very cool. It's very cool. Um, let's talk about defending A. Um, the first spot you're going to look at is tower here. Now here's my secret tech for you. Um, when you play tower, this spot's pretty good. This spot you can actually catch players walking up a lot. It's it's a very cheeky spot. I honestly don't think they're going to keep this spot for long because um, it's just super strong. You just play this off angle if they don't smoke it um, or you wait for the smoke to drop, you can very easily catch people running up sight. Uh, my next thing for you, this is what I do. This is my little cheeky tech. Okay, do not share this. Be very secretive. When the round starts, insta break this door. This is a very nice lurk spot to do, um, especially if this door is broken, because if they do break door, they won't even realize that the other side's broken sometimes, and you can just walk up on them and scare the absolute heck out of them. Um, it also makes for nice intel. It's also like nice cover, allows for easy rotates when you go through here. And if you're worried about them like spamming or like running through the door, they would literally have to be pressed up against it like this which puts them very at risk for this player. So it's a, it's a very nice spot and allows you to kind of be ready to play off your mid players. I love this spot. Um, that's pretty much it. Tower doesn't really have much that you can do. Um, it's pretty much this, you know, the power spots we talked about on B. 
RNA. Um, this spot's actually pretty good in my opinion for A, is actually playing like this corner here because it allows you, it allows you to tuck behind it and it allows you to have a bit of an off angle that's a little harder to clear when we talked about clearing this here. And then you can have like a teammate playing from like here. I think both of these spots are pretty dang good. Uh, besides that, you're basically playing like back sight. Back sight's pretty good as long as you know just to play your life and not just throw your stuff away, play around your abilities here. Like this is a very hard spot to instantly clear. So you can just like chill here and wait to, to hop into the action. I think if you have a team in this corner, this spot here would be very, very strong. Because anyone who tries to clear them, you're just ready at this spot instantly. Um, besides that, you wouldn't really play like on top of, off on top of this here. If you have like a get out of jail card, I could see it working. Besides that, not really good. Good spot to go aggressive, especially if you're a duelist member. You can just like insta cross here and just get away. I've seen some players um, who hold, who get to spots like this and hold this. And then there's someone who has a get out of jail free card, like a jet or a raise. And they just heckin like omen can tp there but they just heckin double satchel or updraft dash over back to here and that can be really nice for an early aggression like super off angle um but in general you could just like flash this corner you could flash this corner you could get a teammate set up here and then you could do another crossfire very good map for some nice team play absolutely love the design here and that's literally it there's not really like a lot of great spots you can play like if you think they're gonna jump up top this would see over the the ct smoke can jump on top of these boxes um but really that that's just what you're doing if you want to peek in the tower if you're rotating late this isn't a bad spot either i don't know why you would ever need to know this but you can actually jump from window to here um it's a quick little quick little rotate spot um i wanted to highlight just a few off angles that are kind of like rare but good to keep in mind um you can hold the upper part from on top of these boxes here if you expect them to push up tower, you can hold it from on top of these boxes. Same thing here, but if you're expecting them to push into your spawn from like mid. Alrighty boys, that's it for Abyss. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to check out the Angle Guides playlist down below. And if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. That's it from your coach. I will see you booze in the next one. Bye-bye.